Hello, hello! I'm Wendrixo. Today, we're going to cover some more advanced features of message senders and receivers in multigame. In this case, I'm going to just delete the old cube from our previous tutorial, and I'm going to go game object, 3D object, sphere. Let's add a sphere this time. Next, I'm going to add sound in the basic tab. If I scroll down near the bottom, you'll find the sound component. This adds an audio source and a sounder to the object. And then I'll go into logic, click logic, just like before. <clears throat> Refreshing my messages by clicking the refresh messages bar ensures that the message list is completely up to date with all the new messages. This is not always necessary but it's a good habit to get into because if I add another component then clickable won't know about it until it's refreshed. In this case I want to play selected sound. Now what this is going to do is it's going to play a specific sound from our list in our sounder. To use the sounder there are two ways I can do it. I can send play sound which will simply play the audio clip that's on the audio source, or I can provide a list of sounds that can be played. In this case, I'm gonna provide two sounds um, by adding a clips size of two and then adding the sounds manually. We'll do a hit sound. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. And we'll do a, a blip sound. Um, and now we have two items in here. Now, in Unity, these are zero indexed. What that means is that the first one in the list is not actually number one, it's actually number zero. So if we want to play that one, we want to do play selected sound. And if I open the message help for play selected sound, you'll see that plays a specific sound from the list of clips and takes an integer parameter. What is the index of the sound we want to play? Remember, the first element starts at zero. So what that means is that when we play selected sound, it takes an integer parameter. So I'm gonna put the, um, the index of the sound we want to play. In this case, let's play the first sound. So I'll just type in zero in the parameter. And then the parameter mode needs to be selected. It needs to be set to integer. We know that it needs to be set to integer because the message help here for play selected sound says takes an integer parameter. Alrighty. So everything looks like it's set up correctly. And if I click play and click on the sphere, it plays our selected sound each time. So that's a quick coverage of how to use some of the more advanced features of message senders. There's another one here called send mode and it's send or broadcast. What that means is we will either send to the targeted object, in this case the sphere, or we will send it, if we set to broadcast, it will send it to the targeted object and to all of the child objects. So if I um, create empty child like this and maybe I'll move it over here and I will add a let's see another sounder and in this case we will have another clip and I'll add a different sound to this how about that Just like that, now if my sender is set to broadcast, we will hear both of those sounds played when I click. And now we have a combined sound, which sounds totally awesome. There are many ways that you can use this in game development, and as we progress through the tutorial series, we'll get into that a little bit later. Until next time, check you later.